Hello, and welcome back. This is the old um, landfill station that I was using to bot fill this area. Um, it's kind of served its purpose now. So what I'm going to do is reverse the direction of the, the stackers, make these all storage chests, and change the name of this from landfill to trash. Crush me. Okay, so fingers crossed. How many trains would this stop? That's kind of bizarre. Um, no, this should not be to trash me. What's that? Idea. Okay, let's turn this back to hash landfill. It looks like that's Arr, grumbles. So it looks like the trains which were landfill trains. Delete that off. Right, so this should be trash me now. It looks like it did something clever with resetting train schedules to match changed station names. Let's fix that. So this isn't supposed to go to trash me, it's supposed to go to um, hash landfill. which I can't put on because there is no hash landfill currently. What a pain. Okay. Um, we want this wire, but we want this condition now to be active whenever... anything is greater than zero. So while there's still stuff in these. Okay. Um, so let's fix the other problem. We'll put down a, a stop called landfill. Okay, now there is a stop called landfill. I can go to the trains. Right, there's one here. Right, so I can add hash landfill now until um, inventory empty. Great. Um, and this isn't quite how I wanted to start the game, but here we are. The other landfill train has decided to travel. Landfill until inventory empty. Let's remove trash me from its schedule. Okay, that's better. So I think now we can take off the landfill stop, just have the trash me stop, and the trash train should be coming and should start emptying all this. I'm about to sneeze. I'm okay. Yeah. Okay, so any moment now, here we are. This is the trash train. And because things are now much better, I think we can get rid of this. There's ample ways for this train to turn around now. So we got rid of that horrid ugliness. And the condition for this train should be five seconds of inactivity. That's fine. Okay, so once that has, the trash has dealt with cleaning up that stop, um, the next step is for us to look at water. Now, let's go back to the map view because it's easier to see there. And turn off electricity. Okay, so we have refinery, light oil cracking. This is heavy oil cracking. 
this spur here, which we landfilled, is going to be rocket fuel. So the rocket fuel takes in, I think it's light oil, I can't remember which one has the bonus, I think it's light oil, yeah. Um, the light oil never escapes really to go anywhere else. So the light oil will then be delivered up here, get turned into, um, sorry, the light oil from the refinery. Some of it will go down to light oil cracking, but some of the light oil from the refinery will go up here and be turned into solid fuel and then into rocket fuel in this area. I don't need to build that right now. What I do need to do is bring in water. And uh, it occurred to me, I've spent all this time and effort landfilling this water because this water is, there's quite a lot of it and it's in an annoying place. But we pretty much only need high volumes of water going to these three stops, to the refinery and the two cracking. We need a, a dribble of water going in to make sulfuric acid, but that, that's kind of an irrelevant quantity. So why not just bring it down here and up, and then that train is never under contention for any of the track for anything else. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, so we're going to put in a new, new stop up here. We may even use the standard backbone, if I can find it. And it's just going to pick up water. Okay, so let's put this down. I really like that. Okay, so I need the outposting train and I need, yeah, I need the outposting train I need the, um, well, first of all, do I need, do I have offshore pumps? No, and they're in my, they're not in my inventory and they don't get collected by the train. Okay, so let's get some, put a request in for offshore pumps, which live here. And I've got eight carriages I'm trying to fill up with water. Um, I really want to fill them up as quickly as possible, so I'm going to fill them up from three pumps, so that's eight, 16, 24. They come in stacks of 20, so I'll get 40 of them, two stacks. Okay, so I think the thing to do now is to get our, to get a train. Head back to base. There we go. And base um, solar is as good as anything. Circuit condition. Go. Okay, so we'll go back to base. Then we'll get the logistics at the base to um, drop off those pumps for me. We'll then bring the outposting train there and the outposting train will um, provide us with the other kit we need. I'll call the landfill train, and then that will let us lay down tracks on, hopefully, two wide strips of landfill, which is a trick I have never actually done in practice, uh, but we will give it a go. It's going to be all exciting for me. Hopefully exciting for you, but definitely exciting for me. Okay, in the meantime, our big construction job over here as completed. So this is all built. Um, I need to go back and do a bit of landfilling and a bit of tidying, uh, but basically it is all built. So it's ready for me to potentially move the solar train, but it, it's ready for me to stamp down a whole load more prints. Um, I'm considering building upwards Think that would be a good plan. Um, yeah, if we go back out to here. Yeah, so don't really care about that 26 million. That 40 million may be useful, so I think we'll probably build up a bit further and then see if we can just take it all the way across and build out that corner. The solar train is still coming and dropping off, so it must still be doing something. Um, or maybe I've just got the certain conditions wrong and it's going backs and forwards and not doing anything. Who knows? 
Okay, up you come. So, I wanted to take the outposting train once I had pumps. I have pumps, brilliant. So where could this go to? And I think it is... Is it heavy oil packs is the closest? Okay, so let's go back out here. So this solar station is turned on. I wonder if there's a circuit condition that's wrong. Because that shouldn't really be on. It shouldn't have run out of things. Unless here we've run out of materials. Where's the solar train? So it's got explosives, landfill, capacitors, solar panels, radars, and drone ports. Yeah, I think possibly there's a circuit condition failure there that's causing that train to go back and forwards for no good reason. We will look at that probably offline after I've had a go at setting up this water area. In case you hadn't guessed, this is the first time I've attempted to build at this sort of scale. Um, I've built toy mega bases in creative mode with lots of um, resources being magicked out of thin air, and I have built um, sort of halfway to mega base scale uh, as single site bases. This is the first distributed base of this kind of scale I've ever tried to build, so it's a learning experience for me. Okay, let's put this on manual. Delete that. Head on up. Okay, so we can set an icon for this. This is going to have the icon water. Confirm. Okay, so I'm going to need some lights because I seem to be out of those. I'm going to need to call in the landfill train. Ah, we need somewhere that the landfill train can turn around. That may not be possible for a little while. I don't think the landfill train's going to fit there. Uh, ironically, because we need landfill. All right, let's bring it in and we can sort things out in a minute. So if I just bring the landfill train in for now here, uh, then I can always move it as long as I don't put things in my pocket. Right, so the idea is going to be there's going to be a standard stacker. Um, let's see what the site looks like. All right, so something like that with the stacker. Then I'm going to see if I can... Can I fit a train there? Only just. So I'm looking for one where all the interesting wagons are in the water, but that's only one, one of them. Okay. So I can fit one, two there maybe. I, I want to fit more than a couple. I, I really do want to make sure that we have adequate. Okay, let's head on down. See if we can do this a different way. Okay, because I see some more water on the map here. So this is nice. We can fit several in here, I think. If we do them here, they'll end up being staggered. Um, and we could fit a few over here. That might be the way to do it. 
Well, the first thing to do is to get the stacker in. And what are the odds that the snafu I had with the landfill trains mean there are none coming? Okay, so they reckon there's no route. Okay, that's weird. Um, let's put a train here. And landfill. Circuit condition is that. Don't really want to burn any fuel on it. So that's not saying no path. Oh, it is saying no path. Okay. So I must have done something silly. I have. I've put it down around the, in the wrong orientation. I wish it wouldn't let you do that. There we are. So unless you blueprint down stations in the wrong orientation, uh, whereas you can't place them down in the wrong orientation, that's annoying. Okay, so um, take my blueprint. So the first thing I want to do is just tidy this up a bit. The next thing I want to do is put in a stacker. Okay. And this is the this is a stacker. I think we could probably do something like this instead of what we had before. Okay, so then that brings our trains in at the top. Then we've got a choice of how we bring them back down to fill them. So let's put that blueprint down. That at least gives us some idea. Gives us some idea of what we need to landfill to get this done. There we go. I'm aware that's not quite everything. As if by magic. Right. So, um, let's put down a couple of storage chests and attempt not to forget them this time. That's it. And the other one put everything in, except I want my construction bots and I want the stacker blueprint. Where's it gone? Oh, it went in here. Okay, so I want that blueprint. There we go. So then I can fill myself up with landfill. And that train is done. That was strangely satisfying. Okay, and then of course I've put all my rails into these boxes. What else? Nothing in there is rails related. Okay. 
So one option is to come down there. Ah, of course, I needed a another blueprint as well, which is the station ladder. Is that it? No, that's it. Okay, so the station ladder blueprint, we can fit one here if we needed to. But it's a bit ugly, it doesn't really fit in with the stacker very well. Or we could fit one in here, and we can fit several in here. I like that more. So I think that's what we're going to do. Um, okay, I can fit one in here now, which gets the ball going, and then in future we can expand out to the other patch. Can I put one in that way around? Now we really are getting ugly. Yeah, and I could put one in there, I think, but then we're just never going to join up. Yeah, we'd be looking at something along that lines. All right, so let's convert this ladder into something a bit more concrete. So. We have a train stop, something like this. Okay, and we're going to need uh, train stations. Okay, then the front two and back two carriages are boring. And the rest are going to have water pumping into them. And I think I may go for the full three pump solution for this. Okay, so pumps. Um, then in here, do I have. Uh, let's get that power that power, it almost certainly won't be enough. Um, what else? I've got offshore pumps. Might need some pipes. Don't think I need quite this much rail. Oh, and I need fluid pumps. Are they in here? I need my offshores. Right, I can get rid of some landfill. The rest of my offshores. We'll come back for that. <clears throat> I'll be wanting a radar. And I have to take a phone call. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> 